Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Hario V60 Dripper size 3. So this is for 1 to 6 cups. Comes with a scoop. It's got these little graduations on the side for grams. So there's three little rings, 8, 10, and 12 grams. They recommend between 10 and 12 grams per serving, per cup you're going to brew. So I got the Hario size 3 1 to 6 paper filters over here. Here's what the paper filter looks like. Now these are a little bit different than like a number four cone shaped filter. You'll see that they've come, they extend down to the bottom. And that's because it fits in there very nice. So you're supposed to fold these at the seam and then you're gonna open it up. Then we're gonna put it in the dripper. So you can see it comes up all the way to the top and it does stick out on the bottom a little bit. Let's go over size. So this opening right here is right about two inches but it has to fit over a mug that's at least four and a half inches. Okay, so I've got a little bit bigger mug here. I'm gonna brew four cups into this. So I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna need 48 grams of coffee. It says to have it ground at a medium to fine grind. I've got this one just a couple notches past the, towards the fine, but it's at the medium grind, so. Okay, so I've got my freshly ground coffee. Got my kettle over here. The water is heated up to 200 degrees. Now I've got my filter in here. They do want you to wet the filter to kind of rinse it and to get the plastic uh, dripper nice and warm. So just run a little bit of water through it. Yeah. Okay, so I dumped the water out of the mug. So it kind of heated the mug up and heated this up. Let's put our coffee in. Okay, so first we're gonna add a little bit of water and wait 30 seconds. We're gonna add some hot water and create like a bloom. So you kind of want to get them Start in the middle and get them all saturated. We're not gonna put a ton of hot water in. Now we're gonna wait 30 seconds, and that's called a bloom. There's what it looks like. We do have some coffee coming out. Okay, so now we're ready to start pouring in the water slowly. It should take up to three minutes we don't want to take any longer than three minutes. So we're just going to start real slow, kind of in a circular motion. You just want to get them all saturated. Okay, so it's doing a good job brewing coffee. Yeah, and the number, th the size three sticks above the mug about five inches. And the opening is right about five and a half. And there's a nice little handle on here too. Okay, so we're all done brewing coffee. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, this tastes like, it's really hot right now. Again, I'm not a coffee taste expert by no means, but when you've got freshly ground coffee and you're using a pour over with the, the correct temperature, the coffee does taste really good. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.